Hi, check it out. This is the world's smallest digital dossie meter, i.e. a uh, radiation meter slash uh, Geiger counter, you could say. And here it is compared to an Australian 50 cent piece. It's absolutely tiny. Thank you very much to um, Andre uh, Bikinov who uh, sent this in. And yes, it's full open source hardware. Woohoo! And it's got a sexy little display. It's called the Ultra Micron. Let's check it out. It's in a tiny little case here. It's got a little micro USB on the side, which is used for charging and also for extracting the data because it's a data logger. Even when the thing is switched off, it's actually continuing to log uh, the radiation data and uh, we can actually display it. Uh, this is the latest uh, firmware building the thing and it's got statistics that can measure the internal battery voltage and the uh, 360 volt high voltage that'd be for the uh, Geiger Muller uh, tube in the side it tells you the current um, up time it's been going for 50 days so you can just leave the thing running um, I believe it's got like a, a 12 month uh, battery life or thereabouts a simple three button interface, shame they're not actually uh, labelled here, but this is, you know, sort of like a uh, almost prototype-y uh, kind of thing. And we can go back to the main screen here and it shows our dosage level in, uh, in this case, micro uh, Rutgens per hour. So it's not the more usual uh, micro sieverts, but it's an easy calculation to uh, convert. It'd be nice if he um, added a software option to uh, display both, actually. We've got a little battery uh, gauge there and just an ongoing graph of this thing. It's brilliant. Love the little display in it, little uh, backlit dot matrix. And as you might have heard, it does have a vibration motor in there. So if I turn it on, it, uh, if it goes over, there we go. Little vibration motor, and you can set it up so that the alarm uh, goes off or it vibrates when it uh, goes over a certain limit. And you can hear a slight beep every time it uh, gets a uh, tick on the thing as well. And there's a um, setup menu we can actually uh, get in here and we can uh, set various things up. We can reboot all the data login and we can turn our vibration on and off if you, you know, wanted to extend the battery life as long as possible. You turn the vibration on, the sound if you didn't want to do anything, and uh, sleep timer and the alarm level once it hits a certain radiation dosage. So that's not just a current uh, value, but that could be a uh, cumulative value. And it shows the current value up there, plus your daily dose as well. So it really is uh, quite neat. And you can uh, switch between the uh, weekly dose and the radiation maximum. Nice 10 minute dose. I really like the uh, display on here. It really gives it like a solid segmented uh, look. You can see this little grid in there. So it almost looks like that's a uh, like a, a proper uh, segmented display rather than a dot matrix. Really quite neat. Apparently that display is from a Nokia uh, 2760. And here's the schematic. And uh, yes, all in uh, Russian, of course, down here, for those who can read their Russian. Fantastic. But uh, we've got an STM32 uh, processor in here. We've got ourselves a uh, flyback uh, step up, which is going to be generating our uh, normal 360 volts. He's got 400 volts here, but I think it actually measures it. And that flyback pump there has been uh, controlled, of course, switching there. Uh, controlled via the micro here. And it doesn't look like he's tapping off the actual 400 volts and actually dividing that uh, down at all. It looks like the uh, detection's come in from the uh, primary side over here, lower voltage going into the micro down here. And our micro USB input, all oh, the requisite um, stuff here. We've got uh, ESD protection. And uh, then, uh, of course, the 5 volt uh, comes into um, our little uh, battery charger. It's just a microchip uh, job, pretty standard. And then we've got ourselves some uh, regulation down here. So that's generating plus 3 here. And then we've just got a charge pump uh, inverter over here, which gives us negative 3. There's the vibration motor with its own little uh, MOSFET driver. No problems there at all. Not much happening. We've got uh, else happening. We've got uh, dual crystals here. Uh, 32 kilohertz watch crystal, of course, for the uh, long-term data login. As I said, it can probably go for like a year um, in uh, low power mode, actually uh, logging. We've got another transistor driver for the uh, buzzer over here. And uh, the Nokia uh, 27. 60 LCD display. Too easy. That's just a um, I squared C uh, type serial interface. And I don't know what uh, sensor is used over here. We'll find out in a minute, but that's just uh, tapping via a 10 meg up to the uh, 400 or 360 volt uh, rail and then AC coupled and just giving an impulse into a transistor and the impulse 
impulse, uh, that just converts it to uh, 3 volts and goes into your micro. So it, it can de detect the pulse uh, from the Geiger Muller tube. Too easy. And it's got a full parts list as well. And here we go, our sensor is an SBM10. Well, let's crack this puppy open and see what's inside. Woohoo! Now, because this thing is uh, continuously running, I've got to be careful here. And uh, he does warn me that I shouldn't uh, touch anything inside because there is uh, 360 odd volts. Have we got? Yeah, it looks like we might be able to crack something. Whoa, open there. It's all right. Here we go. Ta-da. Oh, there we go. We've got our battery stuck to the back. And there is our Geiger Muller tube. Down in there, fantastic, look at that. And that's a nice little bit of fit to envelope design there. Got a cutout in the board around here for our little uh, Geiger Muller tube and of course a right angle uh, micro SD. We've got a 100 milliamp hour battery in there, tiny little lithium ion job. And there's our flat flex connector down there for our Nokia LCD. That's all doing the business very nicely, I like that. And uh, what else we got? That looks like our surface mount, one of our surface mount crystals, our STM Micro, of course. And it's all just very nice. I don't know what else to uh, show you. I won't go much uh, further. Of course, there, there's our vibration uh, motor there. You can see the counterweight there, just spinning around. That's actually, it's actually really quite a decent one. You can really feel it when this thing uh, vibrates, let me tell you. But uh, of course, all the magic happens because of this uh, Geiger Muller tube here. We might be able to actually lift that out a tad. We've got our piezo transducer under there, but yeah, it's not much else. Really nice bit of work to get that into the world's smallest digital dosimeter. I love it. And I suspect also that these little pins sticking up here and over here are designed to keep the board uh, stuck down when uh, like I uh, pushed down to the right height nice and snug so it doesn't rattle around when you put the lid on crude but effective the only real radiation source I have in the lab here is a smoke alarm which of course contains one uh, micro curie of uh, a mericium so yeah these are well the ionizing uh, smoke detectors do and as you can see like we're getting like seven or eight background before um, of micro uh, ruckins per hour but now we're like up to 28 or something so you know it's it's quite significant see the See the decent uh, spike there? So, I, I it's unusual that the display sort of shifts in this direction. I would have liked it, preferred it to shift in the other direction. But anyway, you can see how we had the background before, and now it's really, uh, it's really spiked up there. Neat. So it works. If I hold it right on top, I'm actually getting as high as uh, 35 now. So that's pretty decent. Now, a Mericium 241 here, it's primarily a uh, alpha particle emitter. Um, it does uh, emit some gamma uh, radiation as well. And the Geiger Muller tube is primarily, I believe, this particular model, uh, gamma radiation. And the alpha particles, of course, will be... Um, shielded by you know uh, thin stuff you know paper like any real any object or anything like that beta uh particles need you know like tin foil or something like that and uh ionizing gamma radiation well that needs you know lead like big thick you know <laughs> stuff or you know a meter of water or something to uh stop it it requires big bulk mass but uh yeah these little uh, alpha uh, smoke alarms i mean you know you wouldn't stick and wouldn't strap one to the side of your head but they're generally not too bad and i've hooked it up to my usb port i had to install an st micro virtual uh, com driver so it's using like a serial port uh interface i've selected uh, com3 here unfortunately i can't speak russian so i don't know what any of this uh means but i am actually reading the live data out of it and uh hopefully i might be able to uh, extract some of the uh some of the data out because this thing's been running since he sent it to me and of course it's been up in a plane at high altitude you know 30,000 feet or something so that it's going to get a lot more radiation up there so we should have 
you know, we should be able to see that actually if we could download uh, the logged data from it and if it passed through any airport uh, x-ray uh, scanners or other stuff, for example, then we might be able to uh, see some spikes there. But <laughs> yeah, my Russian's a little bit rusty. But here we go. I hit this button here and it looks like it's downloading something. So uh, let's see what happens when she gets to 100%, shall we? Um, hopefully it's in, you know, some Excel file or, uh, you know, CSV file or something like that, perhaps. But we'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh here we go. We got... Did we get something? Here we go. Look, we got something. So this is... Uh, this is pretty good. I like this. This is uh, today, of course. It's the 4th. And uh, if we go back, we can see that uh, it's been just sitting. It's been sitting in my lab here for a while, though. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to go back any further than that. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, I was hoping to... Uh, See, I was hoping to see something. It was definitely uh, shipped before that, I'm sure. But you can actually see today where I had it sitting next to the uh, smoke alarm there. I had it sitting there for a couple of hours. I actually uh, went to the gym and then uh, went home and came back and uh, finished this video off. So it was a couple of hours there. And it was uh, sitting like, you know, right next to it uh, or right on top of the... Uh, smoke alarm radiation source so that was the regular background before i uh, put it close and now it's like it's dropped back down to like eight so you know it's just the natural uh, background radiation so that is the ultra micron that is one very cool little gadget i love it the world's smallest digital dosimeter fantastic thank you very much uh, andre for sending that in and yes full open source uh, hardware and i'll provide a link to the uh, github repository uh, down below we can download all the details for it fantastic I'm not sure if he uh, actually sells it or not so if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up because that always helps a lot if you want to discuss it jump on over to the eev blog forum or leave youtube comments catch you next time